السلام علیکم ایوری ون آئی ایم اکثر شید فرام یونیورسٹی آف انجینئرنگ اینڈ ٹیکنالوجی ٹیکسلا ٹوڈے آئی ایم ہیئر ٹو پریزینٹ دا ٹاپک ڈائگنوسز آف ڈائبٹیز میلیٹس یوزنگ پلس پلیتھسموگراف سو لیٹ اسٹارٹ آر ٹاپک دا آتھرس آف دس ورک انکلوڈ آئی اکثر شید مشل رضا محمد فراز سمیر عزیز محمد عمر خان اینڈ محمد عاطف امتیاز The contents which we are going to discuss included introduction, motivation and objectives, literature review, materials and methods, results and conclusion. First of all, we have introduction. Diabetes is a chronic disease that affects the metabolism of the body by varying the level of insulin. In a healthy body, the food we eat is broke down into glucose and released in the blood. Body gets alert and release pancreas which release insulin that absorb the glucose and balance its amount. But in a diabetic body, diabetic body, either insulin is not produced or body is not able to respond that insulin. So glucose remains in the blood and its level increases. Basically, there are three main types of diabetes named as type 1 diabetes, type 2 diabetes, gestational diabetes. There are many symptoms of diabetes, some of which are fatigue, nausea, vomiting, thirst and hunger, frequent urination, blood vision, breath smells of acetone, etc. Moving toward its type, first of all, we have type 1 diabetes. It is mostly developed in children or in younger age. About 5 to 10% of all cases are suffering from this type. It is due to genetic disorder. In this type, body does not produce insulin as immune system of the body attack beta cell. These beta cells are responsible for producing insulin. Now body is not able to produce insulin. Next we have type 2 diabetes. It is due to unhealthy diet, less walk or bad routine. About 90 to 90% of all cases are suffering from this disease, this type. In this body produces insulin but is not able to respond that insulin. So glucose remains in the blood and its level increases. And the last we have gestational diabetes. It is mostly developed in the women who are expecting However, it may cure after the birth of the baby, but it may cause the risk of having type 2 diabetes in mother as well as in child in near future. Moving towards motivation and objectives, diabetes is a chronic disease. It is also known as deadly disease as it is included in the list of top 10 death causing disease. In Pakistan, its prevalence is about 30.8%. About 45% of adults are unaware of being diabetic. Uh, if we talk about uh, the rate of diabet uh, diabetes globally, then 9.8% of total world population is suffering from this deadly disease. There are many complexes and complications of diabetes, uh, which may include blood vision, kidney damage, heart problem, heart attack, foot complication, and many more. There are few tests available in Pakistan for its diagnosis and detection, which may include A1C test, fasting blood sugar level, and glucose tolerance tests. All these tests are invasive and require you to fast some hours before the test. But the last glucose tolerance test required you to drink a liquid which contains uh, glucose and fast over the night before the test. So these are the limitations of the system available. So there is a need of such system that can cope up all these serious issues. Uh, so basically our objective beside uh, behind this project is to develop a system that is non-invasive method of diagnosis that is of low cost that is accurate and easy to use moving toward the literature review here are few literature available uh, about diabetes first of all we have a paper in 2010 data is gathered in 
in the form of questionnaire from 4, 6, 8 to subjects. Classifier used was SVM to have the accuracy of 94%. Next, we have a research published in 2015. Data is in the form of questionnaire from 9, 6, 8 subjects. DCN stem classifier was used to obtain accuracy of 87.72%. And next, we have a work in 2019 that is again in the form of questionnaire and the subjects were 800. Add a boost classifier was used to have the accuracy of 96%. And finally, we have a paper in 2020 that is in the form of ECG signal. The number of signals were 526 which were gathered from 10 reds. SVM classifier was used to obtain accuracy of 90.5%. Next, we have materials and methods. Here is the system block diagram of our diagnostic system. First of all, we have data acquisition, then pre-processing, which include normalization and empirical model decomposition. Next, we have feature extraction. And next, we have classification, which classify individual as diabetic and non-diabetic classes. So here, first we'll discuss data acquisition, pre-processing, feature extraction, and classification. First of all, we have data acquisition. Data is gathered from pulse plethysmograph uh, sensor named as PTN10 sensor. It basically measures the volumetric change in the blood due to heartbeat. It is non-invasive method and thus an easy method for collecting data. Data was gathered from left index finger. Uh, total about 276 signals were collected, out of which 100 were diabetic and 176 were non-diabetic. Diabetic signals included type 1 and type 2 both diabetes. Next, we have uh, we have to use a interface or a component that can convert these signals which were in analog form to digital for uh, the processing and uh, um, analysis of the data. So we have used NIDAC as ADC which was connected through USB port. Data was sampled at 1000 Hz frequency. So for analysis we have used an interface named as MATLAB 2018. Here is the raw material plot using MATLAB of non-diabetic pulse plethysmograph signal and here is diabetic pulse plethysmograph signal. Next we have pre-processing. We have gathered data and now we have noticed that our signals are different in length. So first of all we have to make each signal of equal length. For this we got differences in the duration of the signals and converted all the signals to 242 for samples. Next, to have amplitude of same range, we have normalized the amplitude of all signals between 0 and 1 by the process of normalization. And finally, we have applied empirical mode decomposition to remove noise. Uh, basically, empirical mode decomposition is used to remove unnecessary noise which may be produced due to the movement of finger or equipment. Empirical mode decomposition decomposes the signal into its intrinsic mode functions in time domain which is also called as IMFs. Here is IMFs on, of non-diabetic signal. As you can see that IMF1 is of high frequency meaning that IMF1 have excess noise. So in order to remove noise from the signal we have to discard IMF1. The rest of the signal is reconstructed by adding all of the rest IMFs. Here we can see empirical mode decomposition on non-diabetic signal. And here is the empirical mode decomposition on diabetic signal. Now our data is ready for further processing. The, uh, the non-diabetic signal after normalization and after the application of EMD is shown here. And here is diabetic pulse plethysmograph signal. 
now we have feature extraction feature extraction is used to give different attributes to each class we have acquired total 12 features in time domain these features included mean standard deviation skewness kurtosis margin factor energy shape factor crust factor peak to rms log energy shannon energy and and the last impulse factor next we have classification we have split the data into two types or two forms 80 percent is used as training set and 20 percent is used as validation set we have used k fold cross validation um, with the value of k equals to 5. this technique is used to reduce the biasness of the data towards any class and next we have used for classifier fine tree bag tree fine k nearest neighbor and cubic spot vector machine next we have results we have uh, successfully developed a classification system which can classify individual into diabetic and non-diabetic classes four classifiers were used out of which fine canon gave the highest accuracy of 92.4 percent as you can see here next we have confusion chart of all the classifiers used here we can see that fine knn gave the highest accuracy 92 percent uh, is predicted uh, 92 percent diabetic classes is uh, predicted correctly and 8.80 percent diabetic class is predicted and non-diabetic and in case of non-diabetic 92.60 percent is predicted correctly and 7.40 is predicted as diabetic class so fine knn gave the highest accuracy and predicted more ac accurately as compared to the rest of classified next we have conclusion to sum up all of the uh, all the discussion we have success uh, first we have successfully developed a system which acquired data from two seven uh, we have acquired data uh, by using ptn 104 sensor total 276 signals were acquired out of which 100 were diabetic and uh, 176 were non-diabetic next after applying pre-processing and by using uh, 12 features we have used four classifiers out of which fine canon gave the highest accuracy of 92.4 percent this process or method paves way for future non-invasive and fast method of diagnosis it does not require any fast before the test or it is totally non-invasive method so the future work um, may include detection of type 1 and type 2 and gestational group as here we have only detect diabetic or non-diabetic classes the work can be expanded by added more data from the same sensor or by using other biosensors named as ppg and ecg combination of time and frequency domain features uh, can also use for having more accurate results that's it from my side any question you can ask from me thank you so much allah hafiz